Well, it's not about safety, guys. This past weekend, Amazon received a Part 135 air carrier certificate. What does that mean for drone hobbyists? Well, it's not good. So just a quick video today over my lunch break to tell you about the news and give you my thoughts on Amazon joining UPS and Alphabet company in obtaining a part 135 certificate. Basically that certificate allows Amazon to begin testing beyond visual line of sights so they can conduct flights for package delivery. Jeff Bezos had a vision to have 30 minute deliveries by 2018. Now, because of regulation, that is very much delayed and it's gonna be delayed even longer. Now, this doesn't mean that they will be delivering this Christmas or probably even next Christmas because there are a lot of regulations to be completed by the FAA yet, namely remote ID. Remote ID has to happen before Amazon can start delivering. So yes, remote ID is sort of about safety, but truly it's about Amazon, UPS, Google and many other large companies being able to make billions of dollars. It's always about the money, you guys. So what does this mean for recreational drone pilots? Nothing quite yet, but it's another step towards being pushed out of the airspace. I would say if you live near an Amazon distribution center, then this should be pretty concerning for you because it's gonna come sooner for all of you. If you live in a rural community like I do, most likely, this won't affect you that much, at least not for a very long time. Remote ID has never been about safety in the way that it's marketed. It's been about safety, yes, but not to protect people in jumbo jets that would shrug off any drone collision, like a mosquito on a windshield. It's to fill and protect the bank accounts of large companies, and yes, to mitigate drones crashing together in the skies above major cities and having parts fall on the people below. But it's not about protecting jetliners. Governed skyways are on the way, folks, and they will restrict where recreational pilots will be able to fly, no doubt. For now, I say continue to fly and enjoy the hobby as much as you can. For the future, this is what I recommend, I would consider getting a Mavic Mini. Small drones are most likely gonna be immune from many of these coming regulations. So hopefully the technology advances to the point where we won't have to worry about remote ID. I think innovation is gonna drive manufacturers to create these amazing small drones that won't have to comply with all of these regulations. Now, this is just a personal opinion of mine. This is not based on any research or anything like that. I'm just giving you my thoughts. I know that some of you are gonna disagree with me. So let me know, disagree with me in the comments. Anyway, I just wanted to inform you about this development and give you a quick thought about it. What do you think? Go ahead and blow up the comments and let's visit about this. That's why I made this video. I wanna see what you guys think in the comments. I'll admit, it's gonna be pretty cool someday to have my drone that I purchased on Amazon be delivered by a drone, but it's also gonna result in some consequences and some sacrifices on our part. But anyway, let me know what you think. Have a great day, everyone. Fly safe, fly smart.